Swimming in the snow is so fun. I wish it would never melt. Long ago, the Earth went through a long ice age. Did you want to know what it was yeah. like back then? Let knowledge click. About 2.6 million years ago, our Earth went through an ice age. The Earth got colder because it tilted differently, moved farther from the sun, and volcanic eruptions make the sunlight weaker. During the ice age, temperatures could drop to minus 20 degrees Celsius or even lower. Everything outside was frozen, and people had to find ways to stay warm. Food was very hard to find. People couldn't farm, so they hunted giant animals like mammoths and woolly deer for meat and warm fur. Because the snow was so thick, people moved slowly. They made fur shoes, wooden skis, and slates to travel. To avoid freezing, people slept in caves, used animal fur as blankets, and keep fires burning all night. The Ice Age was full of giant animals like mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, cave bears, or giant reindeer. Many went extinct when the weather warmed up. Surviving the Ice Age made humans smarter. They learned to make tools, clothes, and houses. That's how new civilizations begin. I know about the Ice Age now. What about you? Do you remember when it happened? 260 years ago? 2,600 years ago? Or 2.6 million years ago? I know, I know. It was 2.6 million years ago. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Professor Hoot, did you eat my ice cream? <laughs> Wufu, your ice cream melted. Huh? <laughs> mm. oh. Did you know why ice cream melts on a hot day? Mm. Let knowledge click. Ice cream is mostly made of water, sugar, creams. On a hot day, the water in the ice cream turns into liquid, which makes the ice cream melt. How can I prevent them from melting, Professor? <laughs> oh. <laughs> to keep ice cream from melting, we need to keep it cold. Store it in the freezer or eat it quickly before it gets too warm. Wow. <laughs> But that means I have to sit inside the freezer to stop it from melting. <laughs> you can't really stop it from melting forever. You're huh? just gonna eat it fast. This way, my ice cream won't melt everywhere. <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Help. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> ah. Wow! <Ooh>. Ah. <laughs> Exhibits are coming to life! No, no, they're just statues! Oh! oh. Who are they? Why are they dressed so funny? <laughs> These are early humans from the Stone Age! Oh. I'll tell you all! Let knowledge clear! The Stone Age was long ago, when people mm. lived completely with nature! 
If you lived oh. back then, everything Ooh. would be so different. <laughs> oh. Back then, people wow. built homes with branches or lived in caves. <gasps> so, do you know what they did when they were hungry? They cook yummy meals. They order food from their place. Ooh. They had to find wire food and catch animals <laughs> oh, themselves. Hmm? They ordered food. No. Huh? This oh. is what they did. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Ooh. Oh. Every day, they had to find their own food. Hunting animals, picking fruits. Oh, huh? And catching fish. Sometimes there were dangers too, like meeting wild animals. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Yeah. Ooh. 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 They use stones to make mm -hmm. axes, knives, spears, and other tools. Wow. Uh -huh. wow. <laughs> Discovering fire was an important step. Oh. <laughs> they oh. use fire to cook food and keep warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -oh. <sighs> they wore animal skins and painted on cave walls mm. to tell stories. Oh. Even wow. without phones <laughs> or modern machines, they were very smart <laughs> and creative to survive. <laughs> we got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Now that I've set foot on the moon, it's time to explore the sun! Oh! Huh? You're planning to visit the sun? Mm. <laughs> That's super dangerous! Huh? Did you know why um. nobody could set foot on the sun? Mm -hmm. Let knowledge play! <laughs> the sun is a giant star made of hot gases! The sun's surface temperature is over 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's hundreds of times hotter than a pizza oven. The deeper you go into the sun's core, the hotter it gets, reaching up to 15 million degrees Celsius. This means we can't even get close to the sun, let alone live on its surface. Even if we could invent a heat-proof suit to get close to the sun, it would still be nearly impossible to live there. The temperature is way too high, and the sun has no ground, no plants, or water. Since the sun is always shining, it would be bright 24-7, making it really hard for us to sleep. You wouldn't be able to eat or drink anything either. Is there anywhere in the universe where we can live? Up to now, besides Earth, scientists oh. still haven't found any planet that's truly suitable for us to live on. Oh. Mars is the most promising planet for possibly building a home for humans in the future. Wow! It's much colder than Ooh. Earth, but some areas have ice, which means we could extract water. Earth is still the best place for us to live, <laughs> isn't it, Professor? That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Maybe it's aliens. Earth spotted. Let's land. Uh -huh. Wow! Ha ha ha! That's not aliens, kiddo. It's just thunder and lightning. I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. Inside a cloud, there are tons of tiny water drops and ice bits. When they rub against each other, they create electric charge. It's like when you rub a balloon on your hair and your hair stands up. When there's too much charge, the cloud wants to release it. The cloud blasts it down to the ground. That bright flash is called lightning. What's that loud rumbling sound? That's thunder. And lightning is hot. About 50,000 degree Fahrenheit. That's five times hotter than the sun. <laughs> it hits the air super fast, making it expand. And then... That's thunder. Lightning and thunder happen at the same time. But we see lightning first, because light is much faster than sound. But if lightning is that strong, is it dangerous to fly on a plane? Nope. Airplanes have special shell. If lightning strikes, the electricity runs outside and leaves. It doesn't go inside, so we are safe. But if you're outside during a storm, remember, don't stand under tall trees. Don't hold metal umbrellas or shiny pointy things. If you're inside, close doors and windows and stay away from them. Lightning can strike through them. Don't use water because lightning can move through pipes. We got it! Mm. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow!